Uganda was formed in 1989 by five devoted ladies. AWARE is action for women and awakening in rural environment. It is based in Kabong. This is the most disadvantaged region in the all of Uganda. When I came here, I found the situation very bad. There was a lot of human rights abuses, especially on women. Traditionally, a woman is not supposed to own any property or have a voice in the home or go to school. A woman is to be there to be married. A man can marry 10 women and make them their workers. And the women were not owning anything, not even a property, not even land. They would dig the land until the man will say, okay, bring what you have ripped from the garden. So there was a lot of suffering for women. Women were not in decision making. Even in meetings, women could not attend. Women not even considered at all. A woman here to be married with 100 cows, you will be just like a property. The whole donkey job, sleepless nights, unpaid salary, unpaid job. Look at this. You are cooking, babysitting, the man is just sleeping there, lying down, waiting for food. If you don't cook, they beat you. This is, so supposing if it was you, if you are the one who is a woman, how do you, why do you treat them like this? We are all equal, don't. We need power balance. When I came, I said, no, women, we cannot sit like this. Let's sit together. The first day I called, 5,000 women came. I said, I want us to discuss the issues affecting us together so that we can help each other. So they said, we have nothing. I said, OK, we are going to plant fruit trees. I bought the seedlings. I bought 250 seedlings. People were committed. We did the fruits, which is we are now eating and it is serving the whole district here. They are really committed ladies because they help each other. They are even pulling money together and lend to each other for their income generating activities. Mostly I support women. Women who have lost land and property after their husbands have died. These are special widows. When their men died, these women suffer. The brothers to husbands come and grab the property with all everything, leaving the widow with the children, suffering. So it's me advocating. Then the other one, I'm a gender-based violence project counselor, counseling the survivors of gender-based violence, especially these girls who are raped, who are de defiled, the, one, the ones who are forced to marriage. There's a culture here where a man is rich, can take a girl of 13 years. Sometimes they commit suicide. This is a very, very remote area in Uganda. Women are dying because they cannot travel from far place to DC hospital, and then we don't have even midwives. This is a friendly place for the mothers who are pregnant. They come and stay here. We keep them for two weeks. We escort them for delivery, safe delivery in the hospital. And then also ladies who are HIV positive, they deliver safely in the hospital. So far, 206 babies have been born free of HIV AIDS and they are very healthy. When we opened up the maternity waiting house, the mothers could come with five, ten children, one mother. So they were all crowded here. We said, we said, no, 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 we have to form early childhood development center where we can have them, we teach them numerous learning. So when they start, they know that the school can, is very nice. You can eat something, you can be taught, you can play, you can dance. So that's how we started it. It has attracted so many, and then the government also now have now taken the idea. Now the Early Childhood Development Center is everywhere in Karamoja. Women around here, first of all, now they know their rights. Now they can compete with men in the society. They are even in decision makers in their home. They can even plan, sit together and plan with their husband. And some of them have already educated the girls. The girls have got jobs now. They have gone even some of them to Makerere, to university. So there's a lot of change. I want to see change, positive change in the communities I live. I want to make sure that these people live a comfortable life as any other woman on earth 
So that's why I really am so committed. I want to, by the time I'm not there, people would have seen a great change in the community.